Simmer low, please. You'll be disappointed. Huh? Starts dull, has an insipid finish. Insipid. You are a connoisseur, right? Dr. Truman. Truman. Spencer Truman. And you're Nash Brennan, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you were in the hospital when Tess, uh, Jessica Buchanan was in the emergency room. Dr. Miller was taking care of her. I hope somebody took care of you. Looks like that bruise was delivered by a real pro. <laughs> You're an observant fellow. I am a diagnostician. Hmm. And my diagnosis is somebody beat the crap out of you. Hmm. Well, you should see the other guy. Not a bruise on his face. I just give you a little word of unsolicited advice. Try to avoid physical confrontations. It's sweet, but I'm really not hungry. Hi. I'm Natalie. I'm... I'm Jessica's twin sister, the one you said killed herself. Well, it's obvious which twin got the looks part of the deal. At least I'm real. Ooh. I sense some hostility. And I sense that you finally met the person who's not going to put up with your crap. I know how this works, so don't try to pull anything on me. I may feel sorry for Jessica. Don't you dare feel sorry for me, thanks. Oh, honey, you're just a fragment. Another personality, and not a very nice one. In fact, I don't know where we're all running around pretending like you're not a spoiled brat and a dangerous person. Wow, you got a hell of a lot of nerve. Well, I'm nothing compared to you. You framed Antonio for murder. What? Oh, don't act innocent. Last year, Jessica saw someone pull the plug on Tico Sante. And then she conveniently had this blackout. And she blamed Antonio for it, swore she saw him do it, and then got him charged for murder. And I know that blackout was you. And let's not forget that you tried to kill my mother. And I like to put my feet up on the furniture, too. Let's not forget that. Mainly, we need to not forget that you are carrying a baby. You know... And you are responsible for a human life. When people fantasize about their long-lost twin sister, their new best friend, I don't, know, I don't know if they rarely think about a self-righteous, stuck-up Watch little... it. Do you want to fill in the blank? Lois said that you have not been eating. I'm going to tell you right now that that's going to change. You are going to start taking care of yourself, and you are going to take care of my little niece or nephew, and I mean it. I take damn good care of this baby. And, Natalie, I know how to take care of myself. Thank you. What the hell is this? Is this some kind of joke? What in the hell are you talking about? What, what, did you get your rich friends at the paper to make this up? Like, what up? Here, the story, the, the trial story, it says that Ginger Foley is dead. Did you know her? No. I didn't know her. She was my best friend. My best friend. My only friend. I, I didn't know. How did she die? A car accident. Did she, um... <laughs> did it take long? I don't, I don't think she suffered very much. She, like... <laughs> She liked to laugh. You know, she wasn't uptight like everybody else around here. She was on my side. Look, I'm really sorry that you had to find out like this. I can't believe this. You know, this family has me locked up in some bedroom. My best friend gets killed, and I have to read about it in a newspaper weeks afterwards. Oh, my. I'm sorry, I, w I, I wouldn't have brought you the paper if I had known. Known what? That I care about somebody other than myself. Well, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist. I just met you. I don't know what you feel and what you don't feel. I clean up the messes for Jessica, okay? I have to be tough enough to deal with the jerks that she lets into her life. Jerks like Tico Santi. 
But with Nash, I found out that I'm not just a tough girl. Not that you care. Tough's cool. It works for me. <laughs> yeah. It takes a real thick skin to survive hanging out in the mansion. You know what? You don't know me either, okay? That man that you saw kill Tico Santi, that was my husband. My husband who had no idea what he was doing, but went to prison anyway, but then made me believe he was dead. And then, guess what? I fell in love with the cop who put him there, who also didn't tell me that Christian was alive. And they both lied to me. So I told them both to shove it. And I had to start my life over again. Wow. We really are twins. Quit. Hey. Hey. I, uh, saw you having lunch with that lady over there. That was no lady. That was Dorian Lord. Mm. Never mind. What's going on? I just, um, want to see how Tess is doing. As well as can be expected. How about you? Fine. Good. Thanks. Nash, people who are fine don't have bruises on their face, and they're not half in the bag in the middle of the day. I had a glass of wine. How many? Three, four. All right. Why? Tess is going to find out about me. What do you mean? Well, she's going to find out what kind of a guy I am. You all are. And then it will be over. Look. You know what, if I hurt you, I'm sorry. Natalie, don't sweat it. I wasn't trying to bond with you or anything. There really is no getting through to you, is there? You know, just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. You know what, you eat everything on that tray. Antonio, um, run and get me some salad dressing. You're mentally impaired, not physically. Get it yourself. That's not very nice. What are you eating? Looks interesting. I don't want to argue with you, Tess. I, uh, I need to talk to Vicky. Oh, she's napping. Uncle Todd's trial was a little bit too much for her. That's why the redhead was in charge. Got it. Come on, Tess, please. What is this, a lockdown? Only if you want it to be. Look, you know, you keep talking to me like I'm the enemy. Well, you have a firm grasp of the obvious. Well, I'm not the one who's keeping secrets from you. Has Nash told you who beat him up yet? You know, he's pretty cocky for a member of the Santi family. Hmm. That's why I'm cocky, Tess. You know, I used to think that uh, keeping secrets from, from Jessica was the way to go, but it didn't work for me, and it's not going to work for Nash. He's in trouble. I don't know what you're talking about. No? All right. Do you ever think about uh, what you would do if you if Nash weren't around to keep you going? I don't need anybody. Well, he's been taking care of you pretty much since day one, and now you're pregnant. Well, Nash wouldn't leave me. No, you're right, he wouldn't, but he might not have a choice. Then what would you do? You're just trying to scare me. No, I'm trying to help you. Stop fighting the integration process, Tess. It's a battle you can't win. And Tess is my daughter, just as much as Jessica is. I'm going to see that nothing happens to her. So if you want to get near her anytime soon, you better start talking. There was another woman. Before I met Tess, it was a few years ago, and I hurt her. It wasn't my intention, but I hurt her. Nash, what are you trying to say? How long do you think you can hold on by yourself? You need Nash, and he's not here. He will be, Antonio. Not tonight, and not tomorrow for your amnio. You know, Jessica's not in right now, so why don't you call back later? Okay. Much later. All right. You know, I heard you when, when you were uh, saying that Jessica needed you. Wow. I feel so validated. Mm. Well, do you think that maybe at times you need her, too? 
I'm here to stay, pal, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. I'm sorry I upset you. Really. I took Claudia Reston's money because she wanted me to have it. It was easy. So I took it. And dangerous, apparently. I deserved it. The problem is it didn't help Claudia. I hurt Claudia, and nothing will ever be able to change that. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. I never really understood how much I hurt Claudia until I fell in love with Tess. Well, you're involved with my daughter now, and you've been very fair so far, considering the circumstances. But if you hurt her, I will not be quite so understanding as whoever did this to you. Sir, I do not want to hurt her, OK? What I'm trying to tell you, what, what I... I will do anything I can to help Tess get better. I mean that. Well, at this point, we don't know what that is. Staying sober would be a good start, though. <laughs> 